Hello everyone. I'm starting out using Hourglass in obviously the fairest shade since I'm like Snow White. We're besties, me and Snow White. She stole my man though. I was pretty pissed, but that's okay because I found my own. <laughs> anyway, of course I'm just kidding. Um, so the brush I'm using, I love that brush. It's by um, like those Pixie Woo sisters. Who are those people? They're from like England or something. Yeah, anyway, they're awesome. I love them. And their brushes are pretty freaking cool. So anyway, it's one of my favorites. This is a NARS concealer that I'm going in just to kind of double over. Um, I get dark circles under my eyes pretty bad sometimes. Something about having three young children. And also to just kind of cover up and go over any other imperfections, which I have quite a few right now. Um, my skin's actually doing pretty good. There's just some discoloration. Uh, I've dealt with discoloration on my skin for a long time. Um, I think discoloration from having had really severe acne as a, a young adult, well, as a teenager slash young adult, um, everyone always told me it would go away, but alas, it never has. So I'm in my 30s now and I still deal with skin issues. Yay! Anyway, just using that same NARS concealer to prime my eyelids. Uh, today I was going for, or the day that I recorded this, which wasn't today, it was yesterday. It's going for a super, super uh, natural look. Hi, baby. Uh, super, super natural look. Um, I just kind of wanted something to accentuate. That's the Nudes palette. Um, super cheap. You can get that from pretty much any pharmacy. Um, in Even in like a grocery store. You don't even have to go to an actual pharmacy to get it. Uh, I want to say that palette was maybe $10 or $15 at the most. I pretty much just started from the first shade and then kind of went down the line. Um, I didn't use every single shade. I just used like the first four shades in the palette, four or five shades in the palette. Um, and then I did pick up a little bit of color um, on one of the darker shades in the palette just to add a little bit more depth and dimension to my eye socket. Since as I get older, that part of my eye kind of uh, is disappearing. I'm, I'm losing the eyelid shape. <laughs> so yay for getting older. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to give my eyes a little bit of that, um, not Arabic flair necessarily, but uh, it seems to be a shape that compliments me the most is when I kind of almond out my eyes. So anyway, there I'm just going underneath my um, eyelids to um, just make sure the color is really well rounded out. A lot of people uh, do eyeshadow on the top of their eyelids and then they forget to add just a touch underneath. Um, and it's amazing the difference it makes when you just go underneath a little bit. So there I'm picking up a darker um, eyeshadow. Hi Hannah! Uh, there I'm picking up a darker eyeshadow and just lining a little bit my um, my eyelids with them just at the, the very um, base of my um, what are those things called? Eyelashes. Anyway, with that big fluffy brush, which comes from Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek's brushes are amazing! Uh, I just was kind of um, buffing those colors out on my eyeshadow. That is Charlotte Tilbury's 5-in-1, or 5-minute face palette, and I just picked up the contour color. They're all powders, um, but yeah. Anyway, you should uh, check out, sometime I should do a nose contouring video of how I do my nose, because um, if anybody's like me and they have freakish and they have a freakish nose, um, then they're going to want to know a few tips and tricks about that. So sometime I'll do that. Anyway, I was just picking up the cheek color in that same palette, putting on my cheeks. That's a big fluffy brush from Sephora, and I'm just picking up the highlighter shade there. Um, and just kind of patting that, you know, over the highlights on my face. So, um, yeah, that's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> um, that is the NYX, um, like, highlight pencil in the lightest shade. This pencil's amazing. That's probably my fifth or tenth or ten jillionth pencil I've had to purchase because I go through them so much. It's really amazing when you're doing a, a natural look to put that underneath the eye. It just does great stuff. Anyway, then I'm uh, using the powder, RCMA powder, no color powder, which is really, really great just to uh, clean up some areas a little bit and um, kind of get colors back into a more natural shape and look. And then again, using that same brush that has a touch of foundation on it. Really great trick, you guys. Um, don't completely clean your brush until you're all done doing your makeup. 
That's uh, NYX lip pencil. Uh, I want to say it's in the color nude, but it has some shimmer to it. Um, so here I'm picking up a purple shade from NYX. A uh, really, really great tip if you want your lipstick to be look a little bit more natural and to not come off on anything like your fingers and whatnot. Use your finger, press that color really into your lips, like really get that pressed in there. And then you can even pick up um, a powder and put over it. I kind of wish that I hadn't done this to the lips. I feel like it kind of ruined the look for me, but um, it's all right. It ended up working out in the end. Um, but yeah, next time I won't do that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see um, at all. But, yeah, I'll be doing um, other people as well coming on to uh, my videos here. I've got other people um, set up to video me, put makeup on them. So thanks, guys. See you later.